Today I'm having a look at the Hyundai Santa Fe. It's a seven-seater SUV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Santa Fe, there's top tether points in all three of the second row seat backs. They are easy to connect to because they're within plastic guides, but they're quite difficult to access. You have to bring all the different seat backs forward individually. There's Isofix in the two outer second row seats. They're a little bit tricky to connect because they're within between the seat base and seat back leather. I managed to fit three big child seats in the back here. It was all a bit tricky and once they're in it's a bit of a squeeze, but it's fine to get the three in. It's just the seat base is a little bit shaped which made it a little bit more difficult. In the third row there's no top tethers and no isofix, so I didn't install seats in there. Also for leg room in here, this seat does slide and also you can bring the seat back forward to access the third row, but there's just not enough leg room in here for it to be a full-time seven-seater. Also the mechanism to bring this second row seat forward, you have to re remove the child seat to get through, so it wouldn't be practical every day to be getting through to that third row. One of the things I do love back here is it has these blinds on the um, door windows, which is a fantastic baby drive feature. The media screen in the Santa Fe is really nice and clear. It's a fantastic screen. It's really easy to use and it does have Apple CarPlay as well and Android Auto. When you put it into reverse, you get fantastic different images. You also can change so you can see it from different angles and from above. You get sensors from the front and the rear, and you also get the visual come up on your screen. You can mute the sensors and turn them off, pressing the button down by the gear lever. There's a few great features in the Santa Fe, like the child lock button and window locking button that's on the driver's door. Also on the front passenger seat on the side, there's buttons to move that forwards and backwards that the driver can access, so that's really helpful. It also gives you an alarm to let you know when you get out of the car to check your back seats for passengers. These, that one is helpful, it's also a bit noisy and annoying. The Santa Fe also has a safety feature where if it detects a bike or a person or a car coming along, it actually won't let the rear passengers open their door until that obstacle is passed. The Santa Fe is a really nice car to drive. The only problem is the engine is just a little bit loud and really disrupts the journey. Storage in the front of the Santa Fe is quite good. There's two cup holders here that will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. There's another small well here for storage and another phone charging point here. The wireless phone charging and the USB, AUX and 12 volts are there too. There's another little space on the um, dashboard here which is rubber lined so it's quite good for gripping. So phones, glasses, things like that could go in there. The glove box is quite small though. I could get my wallet in there with the manual but I couldn't get an iPad in there. The central console box is nice and big and it has a little tray in the top which would be good for another pair of sunglasses. There is a sunglasses holder in the ceiling though and that's nicely lined. The door pockets are a good size. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and I can get my wallet and iPad in there too. Let's have a look in the back. In the second row of the Santa Fe, storage is quite good as well. There's a fold down armrest in the central seat back here that will hold a reusable or disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. Anything smaller just rattles around though and there's nothing to grip it. There is a little storage well here, probably good for a phone, something like that. Um, the mat pockets are good, they've got this nice elastic which um, kind of grips well. I could get an iPad in there but it didn't conceal it. The door bins are a bit strangely shaped in here. They will hold a large refillable water bottle. Anything smaller than that falls over, but it's a really tight fit with that bottle. You have to kind of jam it in there. But I could get an iPad in there as well. In the third row, there are cup holders on the right-hand side. The right size for a reusable disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. On the other side is a good wedge for a book or an iPad, something like that. The boot door of the Santa Fe opens and closes with that loud beep. In the back here, there's tabs on the back of both 6th and 7th seats to put those up and down. They're nice and simple. Under here you've got storage for the parcel shelf. The Santa Fe also comes with a big carpet mat that you can put down over all of this area so that when you're only using 5 seats you've got a nice flat boot floor. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Hyundai Santa Fe. 
We're only using five seats, it will fit 17 shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and six shopping bags. Or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and nine shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle and eight shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 14 shopping bags. Or a large dog. When using all seven seats, I could fit five shopping bags in the boot. Or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and three shopping bags. To sum up with the Santa Fe, it's got a lot of fantastic features. The media screen's good, it's nice to drive, apart from being a bit noisy. It's really practical as a five-seater SUV and just occasionally as a seven-seater. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au.